hey, what's going on? So this is what the math section is structured to look like. The first five questions you're going to get are grid ins, and grid ins look like this. And you have to fill in the number that you get for the answer. Basically, these are impossible to guess, but if you run out of time, guess. I mean, <laughs> the probability is low, but you can give it a shot. Uh, 63 through 114, that's 52 questions. These are multiple choice, and that's a really familiar thing for most students. Uh, they look like this or like this. And the way that they fill out this section is kind of random. Whereas 63 might be an easy question, 64 might be a hard question, 64, 65 might be a hard question, 66 might be uh, just an whatever, you know, kind of easy, kind of hard question, 67 might be an easy question, then a hard question. They kind of mix them up. So what is the best strategy to go through if all of the questions are kind of mixed up as far as difficulty is concerned? Let me show you. So this is you and this is a party and you know these are people waiting to go in you know somewhere and they're all kind of standing in a line and they've all been given numbers. Cool. So here are these people and they're all hanging out. Uh, all these green people are your buddies, right? They're happy to see you. They're excited that you showed up. All these red people, they're not happy that you're there. They don't like you at all. And the purple people are just acquaintances, right? They don't you know, they don't know you really, they have no opinion. And uh, let's just say all of them have, um, let's say all of them have delicious, delicious French fries. So let's just say that you're really hungry. And I said, I want you to go through this crowd of people and get as many French fries as you can, right? So you, if you go to the first person, it's your friend, pretty easy to get a French fry from your friend. You just ask them, maybe they owe you, maybe you've done it in the past. You go to the next one, it's not going to be easy to get that French fry. It's not going to be easy to get the answer that you want, right? You go to the third one, maybe you'll get the French fry, maybe you won't get the French fry. It just kind of depends. This one's going to be hard to get the answer that you want. It might take a long time to convince them that you deserve a French fry. Then you get your buddy. It's like, oh yeah, here you go, here's a French fry. And then you get your other buddy. Oh yeah, here you go, there's, there's a French fry, dude. So notice how... It's easy, hard, medium, hard, easy, easy, right? The issue here is that you're timed and you might not get to everybody, right? So how do you make sure you get the most amount of French fries possible? You hit the line out of order, just like this. If you hit the group of people in this order, you are guaranteed to get the most amount of french fries before your time runs out. Whereas this one, if your time runs out at four, you're really only guaranteed to get one buddy to give you french fries. Whereas if you run out of time after four questions here, you're going to get three french fries and then maybe, maybe that fourth one. So since you're timed, hit all of the easy questions you know how to crush first, right? They could be anywhere. Maybe you do number 63, then you see number 70 is easy, then you see number 78. Get as many right as possible because number 63 counts the same amount of points as number 114. And so if you get stuck on a super hard problem and you spend like three, four minutes on it, you really could be missing out some easy ones towards the end. So go through out of order and just make sure you crush the easy ones first, right? Because you get about a minute, 34 a question so if you see a question and you're like oh this is going to take me at least two minutes skip it if you see another question you're like i can pound this out in 30 seconds do that but do that bad boy right away right so this is how the test is structured the easy ones are mixed in with the medium ones is mixed in with the hard ones do yourself a favor get all the easy ones first then do all the mediums and if you run out of time towards the end they're hard questions anyways you know you had a low probability to get them right but at least you can get as many right as possible in the time that you're allowed okay so that's how you do the math section uh good luck